Now we give another example of, um, of a metric on Rn again. So x equals Rn and define a function rho from x cross x to the positive real line as follows. So x rho of xy is just the maximum of all the numbers xi minus yi uh, for i uh, belong to 1, 2, up to n. So you take the you take the maximum of all the distances within each coordinate. Okay, and uh, I leave it to you to check that rho is a metric function. Metric function on Rn. Okay, this is not so difficult. Now, um, now that we have two different metrics on Rn, we would like to compare the the topologies that they induce so here we have a theorem so the theorem states that uh, the topologies tau d and tau rho induced by d and rho so what is the meaning of induced it just means that the uh, metric function tau d uh, the metric function d gives a basis bd which generates a topology tau d and we call it the topology induced by d Similarly, we have a metric function rho and we have a basis B rho and it in generates a topology tau rho which we call it induced by rho. So these topologies tau d and tau rho are induced, induced by d and rho respectively and both are the same as the product topology on Rn which I denote here by tau box. So tau d equals tau rho equals tau box. So, um, as before, we try to compare um, our new topologies with ones we have already seen. So, let us see a proof of this theorem. So, the first step is to show that the topologies tau d and tau rho agree. And for this, we will use the following lemma. And this lemma says that if d and d prime are metric functions, functions on a set x, then tau d prime is is finer than tau d if and only if for each x in x and epsilon greater than zero there exists a delta greater than zero such that the the delta ball centered at x with the metric d prime is a subset of the uh, epsilon ball centered at x with the metric d. So let us see a proof for, for this lemma first and then um, we will uh, show that tau d equals tau rho using this lemma. So first if uh, so let uh, tau d be uh, coarser than tau d prime and now let x belongs to a basis set in tau d prime. So this means that uh, given any x in x and epsilon greater than 0, there exists a basis element b prime in tau d prime such that it contains x and it is contained inside b d x epsilon. So this is using the basis description of uh, basis characterization of finer and coarser topologies that we uh, saw earlier. And now uh, because x is in this basis b prime, this means that there exists a delta, there is a delta says that b d prime x delta is a subset of b prime and this means that x belongs to b d prime x delta and this is a subset of b d x epsilon. So the forward implication is proved for the converse or other reverse implication let let us assume that uh, assume 
that for each x in x and epsilon greater than 0 there exists a delta such that b d um, prime x delta is a subset of b d x epsilon and now take any uh, basis take any basis element b prime in uh, uh, sorry b in tau d and let us consider a point x inside so since uh, this is b uh, this b is a basis set then this implies that there exists an epsilon greater than 0 such that the epsilon ball centered at x is a subset of b but now by hypothesis this means that there exists a delta greater than 0 such that we have b d prime x delta is a subset of b d x epsilon and this is a subset of b and this is uh, nothing uh, this is saying nothing but that uh, tau d is coarser than tau d prime so our lemma is proved and now we move to the proof uh, coming back to the proof that tau d prove that tau d equals tau rho so the first thing to note is that we have the inequality rho x y so here again for x y in rn we have rho x y is less than or equal to d x y and if this is less than or equal to square root n times rho x y so this is a nice algebraic exercise for you to to show it's not very difficult and so now we have that from the first in inequality we have that b uh, d x epsilon is a subset of b rho x epsilon since uh, if if uh, dx y is less than epsilon then this implies that rho x y is less than or equal to dx y is less than epsilon so b d x y is a subset of b rho x epsilon and from the second inequality we have that b rho x epsilon over square root n is less than or equal is a subset it is a subset of b d x epsilon why because if y um, belongs to b rho x epsilon by square root n then this means that d uh, sorry rho x y this is rho x comma y is less than or equal to epsilon by square root n this is nothing but square root n rho x y less than so this is less than epsilon in fact strictly less than um, so this is less than epsilon but this implies that d x y which is less than or equal to square root n rho x y this is less than epsilon so um, <coughs> this is b rho of x with radius epsilon over square root n lies inside b d x epsilon so using the lemma so using the lemma above we see that we see that tau d equals tau rho and now the only thing to check is now that uh, both these are equal to the the product topology on rn so we will check it only for tau rho because these two things are equal that that is sufficient so uh, now we want to show we want to show that the tau rho is equal to the product topology on rn
so for this uh, <coughs> suppose that suppose first uh, b belongs to the product topology so b is of the form a1 b1 cartesian product a2 b2 so these are all open intervals in r and similarly we have a n b n now uh, if x belongs to b this means that x um, i the ith coordinate of x belongs to the interval a i b i and this means that there exists an epsilon i greater than zero such that the euclidean ball well this is just the standard uh, metric on r so i can just write it as um, xi minus epsilon i and xi plus epsilon i this is a subset of the interval ai bi remember that this is nothing but bd xi uh, epsilon i where d is the uh, metric on on r okay so now uh, take the minimum take the minimum minimum epsilon of all these epsilon i's i in 1 2 up to n and uh, i claim that the row uh, with the row metric you take the epsilon ball centered at x then it will be a subset of b so i claim that b rho x epsilon is a subset of b so why is this so take any set in b rho x epsilon this means that rho x y is less than <coughs> epsilon and this means that the maximum of all the x i minus y i this is i in 1 2 up to n this is less than epsilon and this means that mod of x i minus y i is is less than um, epsilon i for each i because epsilon was the minimum of all these epsilon i so <coughs> this means that y i belongs to this open interval x i minus epsilon i and x i plus epsilon i which was a subset of a i b i and this means that y belongs to b so uh, we have proved that this implies that tau rho is finer than tau box and now we have to show the other way so take a basis element in the um, tau rho so a basis element of the form b rho x epsilon in tau rho and we have to show that uh, to show that there exists a basis element in tau box which is the product topology on rn such that it contains uh, so suppose i take a point y in b rho x epsilon so i want to show that y belongs to b and it is a subset of b rho x epsilon and and actually this is quite straightforward because our b can be taken to be b rho x epsilon itself so b so notice that b rho x epsilon is nothing but the cartesian product of the epsilon intervals around each coordinate so this is x1 plus minus epsilon to x1 plus epsilon then x2 minus epsilon to x2 plus epsilon x2 plus epsilon and so on 
x n minus epsilon and x n plus epsilon. So I leave it to you to check that uh, this is indeed the case. So the ball, um, the epsilon ball with center x with the metric rho is exactly given by this. And this is already, this is, this is a basis element in the product topology in tau box. So one can take b equals b rho x epsilon. So we have seen that this implies that tau box is um, finer than tau rho and this implies that tau rho equals tau box because we already shown the other way around. So we have seen now that the product topology on Rn can be determined um, not only by uh, giving it a basis in terms of uh, Cartesian product of intervals but also using the either the Euclidean metric or the row metric which is called the square metric.